Apostolic Succession. Is it biblical? Why do Catholics cling so tightly to the tradition of apostolic succession? Our Protestant interlocutors tell us that there is no biblical support for it. So the question we now ask is this, is apostolic succession biblical? Hi, this is Ryan Zell, and let's look at this tradition of the church Christ called my church, and the church we call Catholic. Now we will turn to scripture. We cling to the tradition of apostolic succession because it is true. Christians are commanded to do so by the Apostle Paul. 1 Corinthians 11.2, I commend you because you remember me in everything and maintain the traditions, even as I delivered them to you. And in 2 Thessalonians 2.15, So then, brethren, stand firm and hold to the traditions which you were taught by us, either by word of mouth or by letter. When Paul states, maintain the traditions, even as I have delivered them to you, and then again, hold the traditions which you were taught by us, he is speaking on behalf of Christ and the one gospel, both oral and the one being written to them as he speaks. Paul spent several years in Ephesus. Do you think he only spoke about six chapters worth of scripture? 1 Timothy 1.6, hence I remind you to rekindle the gift of God that is within you through the laying on of hands. 1 Timothy 4.14, do not neglect the gift you have, which was given you by prophetic utterance, when the council of elders laid their hands upon you. These actions are all part of the apostolic tradition and of apostolic succession. Paul reminds Timothy that the office of bishop has been conferred on him through the laying on of hands. 1 Timothy 5.22 do not be hasty in the laying on of hands, nor participate in another man's sins. Keep yourself pure. Paul advises Timothy not to be hasty in handing on this authority to others. In Titus, Paul describes the apostolic authority Titus had received and urges him to act decisively in this leadership role. In Acts 1, 22-26, for it is written in the book of Psalms, let his habitation be desolate, and let no man dwell therein, and his bishopric let another take. We see the apostles immediately after Jesus' ascension acting swiftly to replace the position left vacant by Judas' suicide. They prayed for guidance, asking God to show them which candidate was chosen to take the place in this apostolic ministry from which Judas turned away. After choosing Matthias, they laid hands upon him to confirm apostolic authority. Thus, we have apostolic succession. The testimony of the earliest witnesses of the church is unanimous in its assertion of apostolic succession. The belief that the apostles handed on their full authority to others was one of the most frequently and vociferously defended doctrines in the first centuries of Christianity. I will not read the next six slides, and I suggest you read them on your own. Blessings, one and all. Clement, Bishop of Rome. Hegesippus, Irenaeus against heresies, Cyprian of Carthage, Jerome.